everybody is pastor tony lewis and lady charlotte listen it's resurrection sunday yes it is jesus is alive jesus is alive and well yes listen whatever you do share this message with as many people as you possibly can share 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 and keep sharing listen jesus is alive we love you Watch happy this. resurrection sunday hallelujah jesus is alive we at light of life church want to welcome you to our virtual service Happy Easter, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And we are so excited to worship with you. God bless you all. Bye. Happy Resurrection Sunday. We look forward to worshiping with you. He has risen. Hey, guys. Gabriel here. Uh, God bless you. I hope everyone's having a great time staying at home. And welcome to our worship virtual experience. Welcome, Welcome to Light, Light of Life Church. Church. We're, We're so, so happy, happy you tuned in. in. I'm so glad you're joining us. Welcome to Light of Life Church. Morning, welcome, and thank you for worshiping with us. Make sure you share and invite your friends. Happy Easter, everybody, and welcome to Light of Life Church. Welcome to Light of Life Church. Thank you for joining us. Hey, good morning, Light of Life Church. Happy Easter. Thank you for joining today. I'm excited to worship with you. Thank you for joining us on Resurrection Sunday. We are so happy that you are able to join us and we cannot wait to get back to hugging you. See you soon. Lord, we love you. Yes. And just wherever you are this morning, make sure that you posture yourself for worship because we know that there's something so special about this day that we celebrate our risen Savior. The Lord died for our sins and got up so that we may be forever forgiven and have eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
today for, for praise and worship. I needed energy today for praise and worship. It is it is Resurrection Sunday, y'all. Do y'all know if any other any other Sunday, this is the Sunday for you to be on fire yes. for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I need to be. Those of you who are watching me, man, listen, literally from all around the nation, God bless you. Welcome to our virtual experience. I am your host. I am little pastor, Woo! pastor. Yes. And I, I'm just overwhelmed with, with, with joy right now because, because this is the morning. This is First of all, this is a day that the Lord has made. Yes. That is yes. 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 Uh, this is a day the Lord has made, but this is a day that he got up so we could get yes. up. Yes. Oh, man, I love those songs that we sang. Res Power was off the chain, man, I'm telling you. Waymaker, those were so, so great, perfect songs they picked this week. I believe there's a word from the Lord. Yes. yes. For those, again, who are watching me, thank you. Make sure you share this message with at least 500 of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> share with everybody you possibly can. Listen, let's go to the word. It's in Mark, Mark 1, verse number 17 from God's word version says, Jesus said to them, Come follow me. Come follow me. I will teach you how to catch people instead of fish. Amen. Come on, you already know okay. what my message is. It's okay. right there on the bottom part of the screen. Yes. Follow me. Amen. Come on. God in heaven. Father, we are so grateful to come to you this resurrection Sunday. Yes, God. God, what an awesome and amazing God you are. God, we lift up Jesus, Jesus today. Jesus. We thank you for Jesus who saved us from death and destruction. Yes, it's God. in Jesus' name we pray and ask. Amen. 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 Again, those of you who are watching me, I mean literally from around the nation, 
Thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast, man. Listen, Jersey, I see you in the house. Philly, I see you in the house. North Kakalaki, <laughs> I see you in the house. And listen, those Light of Life Church members, God bless you. First Lady and I, we miss you so much. We can't wait to hug you guys. Listen, it's the virtual Sunday, and we are so grateful because I got a word from, from God to give to you because is it easy for us to follow Jesus? Or is it something that we struggle with? Hmm. I know many of you are saved and sanctified and Kentucky Fried and you're following Jesus. And I know we're supposed to follow what the CDC says. But are we following Jesus and what God is telling us to do? Hmm. And then there are some of you who are saved and you've made Jesus your Savior, but you haven't made him your Lord. Wow. wow. Come on. That's deep. See, see, right. see, see, it's a different. It's e I always say it's easy to get saved, but it's hard to be a Christian. I ain't getting no amens right there. I ain't getting no amens right there. Listen, but then, but then there's so, those of you who have no relationship with Jesus Christ at all. And that's okay. You're my guest this morning, this afternoon, whatever you're watching. You're the one who this message is intended to because our goal is to make sure that you have a relationship with Jesus Christ who saved us all. None of us are perfect. Hallelujah. A matter of fact, all perfect people, go ahead and log off right now. If you're perfect, I don't even want you to watch right now. If you're perfect, just go ahead and log off. Go and watch TV or Masters, reruns, or whatever it is you're watching. But this is what I want you to do. I want us to have a relationship with Jesus Christ yes. that is so genuine that yes. we have no other yes. choice but to try to follow Christ. Yes. None of us are perfect. None of us are going to get this thing right. We all shall fall short of the glory of Christ Jesus. Amen. All of us. All of us fall short. But I believe that God is going to do something in this service today that's going to help somebody to follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. In, the, in the Gospels, in the Gospels, let's go to work. In the Gospel, Jesus talks to the disciples and he talks to the followers in the Gospels. Now, remember the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, John and Luke. He says at least 22 times to follow me. Mm -hmm. At least 22 times he says, follow me. And he, watch this. In, in, in Matthew, he says it seven times. In Mark, he says it four. In Luke, he says it four. And then John, he says it another seven. Mm -hmm. wow. Somebody had to do the math. That's 22 times. Isn't it? <laughs> we trust you, he, 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 <laughs> he, says, he says, follow me. He says, follow me. And watch this. This is in the good news. Who are the disciples that he's talking to? He's talking to his disciples. He's talking to the people who's following him. And watch this. I, I know it's early in the message, but what do you do? How do you follow Jesus in the middle of a pandemic? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you, those of you who are watching me, how easy is it for us to follow Jesus in the middle of chaos, confusion, and what we see on TV? How do, easy is it for us to follow him in the middle of this? I like Mark. I like Mark. I really like Mark because Mark is a little bit like me. Mark has a little education, but he's also a little bit ghetto. <laughs> Mark kind of reminds me of Mark. He'll tell you in a minute, get the second, get out, get out. <laughs> Mark says, watch this, it's right there on your screen, Mark, at Mark 8, verse number 34, he says, he says, he says, then call the crowd to join the disciples, he said, watch this, watch this, don't miss this, he says, if any of you want to follow, want to be my followers, watch this, you must give up your own ways, okay, okay, <laughs> you must give up your own ways, take up your cross, uh -huh. and follow me. It's right there. It's literally in the text. It literally just leaps out of the text because the first thing we see is the call. Mm -hmm. The first thing we see is the call because Christ makes it clear that he wants his disciples to follow him. But what do we do in 21st century in the year of 2020? Who are he calling to follow him now? He's calling you and I, those of Amen. you who are watching in Philly, those of you who are watching in Jersey, those of you who are watching in Prince William County. He says, follow me in the middle of a pandemic when you see nothing but chaos, confusion, and concern. Amen. How do we follow Jesus right now? And he mm. makes it very clear. Follow him. Pastor, well, how, what do I do have to, what do I got to do to follow him? You, you can be the light amongst the darkness. Yes. Yes. Right. 
You can be the person who, who who's literally saying, I'm not going to post negative stuff on my Facebook page. Everything yeah. that I post is going to be uplifting. Everything that I say and everything that I do is going to have more positive than more negative. Yeah. You can stop being the person that's always spreading the stuff about the CDC. I got a friend that work at the CDC. You ain't got nobody that you don't know. You don't know nobody, nobody. that work for the government. And nobody. you, and you send and you sending them texts. You can be the person who is being positive in your family and in your neighborhood. Amen. So the question that I have for you, will you answer the call? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Will you answer the call? If Jesus called you, gonna hang up? Mm -hmm. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> call me. If Jesus called you right now, if Jesus got on his iPhone 11, <laughs> called your iPhone 4. Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Well, at least they still say it, but somebody got an Android. Somebody tripping with an Android. Don't, don't log off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't log off. Would you answer the call? So, so, so not, only, not, only, not only do we see the call, but secondly, we see the cost. Mm -hmm. Because there's a cost to following Jesus. No, notice what we pick up right here in Matthew 19, verse number 21. Notice where I pick up right here. He says, if you want to be perfect, don't, don't get no up the Android. No, he didn't say that. That's not his life. If you want to, I thought that was going to be funny. But at least it's funny. He said, if you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possession and give your money to the poor. Watch this. Give your money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then follow me. See, there's a method behind this story because those of you who are Bible studies, you would know that in Matthew 19, around verse number 16, there's this young player. I, he's, now, he's a straight up biblical ball. This brother got everything. He Louis down. He got Gucci, Louis. He trip is nuts. He got a car. He did. They still sit on 22. No, he got a Tesla. He got an all black okay. Tesla. This brother is nice. And he he now, it reminds me of what Mark says in Mark, Mark 8 and 16. He said, What good is for a man to gain the world and lose his soul? Amen. Amen. So Jesus, he grows up on Mr. J. He said, Mr. J, what I gotta do to have eternal life? Jesus said, Why are you asking me? <laughs> Shouldn't you know? He says, why are you asking me? He said, he said, only what you have to do is you have to forget about the religion part of this thing and think about the relationship. Amen. Do you have Amen. a relationship with people? Yes. It reminds me what my what my wife always says. Some people are so earth, so so heavenly bound and they're earthly good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll get that on the way home. See, see, do you have a relationship with Jesus? And then he said, Jesus says, follow me. If you want to have this eternal life, you're gonna to have to, you're gonna to have to go obey the commandments. And he said, whoa, 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 what's that? He said, Jesus says, you're going to have to love thy neighbor. Yes. He, he said, you're going to have to not murder nobody. Mm -hmm. You're going to not commit adultery. You're going to have to be good to your mama and your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> but the most of it is, you have to treat your your neighbor as you would love yourself. Yeah. And, the, and and player walks around. He said, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But I'm doing all of that. I'm doing all of that. But watch this. Go back to the go back to 19, verse 21 again. Then Jesus says, if you want to be perfect, if you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possessions, give your money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Hmm. Treasure in heaven. Then, somebody say then. Then. Then, then come and follow me. Hmm. And sadly, because of this young man, he's doing everything that the law requires him to do. But he has no relationship mm -hmm. with himself or with other people. Wow. And sadly, he walks away from not following Jesus. Which leads me to my next point. It's easy to follow Jesus until it gets hard. It's easy to follow Jesus until you're going to have to give up somebody. Can I talk to all the single ladies? All the single ladies? <laughs> Normally, the single ladies. <laughs> Can I talk to somebody and let you know that sometimes you're going to have to give up some of them TV shows? Yeah. Somebody say, don't hurt them, don't hurt them. Sometimes you're going to have to give up some of them things that you watch on IG. Somebody going to have to give up what you're watching on Twitter or what you're watching on Hulu or whatever it is, TV shows that you're watching, because here's what I do know, there's a sacrifice and a cost of giving up what you are normally doing that yeah. you know is wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you know is wrong. 
Sometimes you're going to have to give up. See, see, you have to give up the known for the unknown. Amen. Amen. You're going to have to give up the certain for the uncertain. That's called faith. Wow. You're going to have to give up some people. You're going to have to give up some things. You're going to have to give up some, some magazines. Does anybody still look at magazines? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're millennials. Right. Millennials. Right. What's a magazine? <laughs> <laughs> you got iPhones and stuff now. So, Pastor, what do I got to give up? Self. <laughs> Deny yourself. Wow. Deny your flesh. Deny them things. Deny them things that you know that God is not calling you to do. You have to take up your cross daily and reach into him. Pastor, what are you talking about? You're going to have to pick your Bible up every day. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to pick up your iPhone or your Android or whatever device that you use. And you, before you do anything else, you're going to have to go to Jesus and say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I surrender. I surrender. Amen. I was going to go there. I was going to go there. <laughs> the Lord said, stay in your lane. <laughs> stay in your lane, buddy. But you're going to have to surrender all to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So first we see the call, and then we know that there's a cost. But watch this. The commitment. Yes. There's a commitment to this thing that we, we call Christianity, which has a relationship with Jesus Christ. And watch this. We all have to commit to him. Why, Pastor? Because he committed the most precious thing that he had to give to us. He committed his son Jesus to us. He committed his son Jesus to the cross so that, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah. Jesus. Somebody should say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody should be typing yes. thank you, Jesus, yes. right now. Yes. Come on, we should have church for 30 seconds. Yes. Yes. Somebody should be saying thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for making the commitment. Thank you, Jesus, for going to the cross. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for going into a borrowed tomb. Thank you, Jesus, for getting up on this earth. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving a wretch like me. Mm. Jesus. See, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I think about what he did on the cross. Mm. I thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to follow you right now when the whole world is in a dark place, when the whole world looks like there's nothing but darkness, confusion, and chaos. Mm. Why do we follow Jesus? It's right here. Watch this. John 8 and 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, <laughs> shameless plug. He says, I am the light of the world. Mm. Whoever follows me will act, will not be in darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. 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 Who doesn't want the light of life? <laughs> Who doesn't want the light of life? I love this metaphor because Jesus is simply saying right here, you will never walk in darkness as yes. long as you're following Thank him. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. You will never walk in death, chaos, and confusion as long as you're following him. Yes. Times may get hard. Roads, Jesus did promise us trials and tribulation. But guess what? We have a friend in Jesus. Yes. The one that we can call to Jesus, come help us. Yes. Come help us, Jesus. We get through all of this stuff that we're dealing with. He died on the cross, but he got up. Amen. He got up with all power in his hand. Thank you, Jesus. And because of this Resurrection Sunday, this, this Easter Sunday, how you choose to flow, we thank you, Jesus, yes. for what you did. Yes. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for your death, burial, and resurrection. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Come on, help me just lift Hallelujah. them up. We thank you, Jesus. Come on, say, is this just worship right Jesus. here for a second? Come yes. on, I just need some worshipers right here. Because this is Paul, This is Easter Sunday. This is not just any regular Sunday. This is the Sunday that he got up so you and I can yes. have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Come on, those of you who are watching by Facebook, share this message to somebody. Share this message for the person to the person that you've been praying for. Yes. Share this message to the person that you've been praying that they will find a life with Jesus Christ. Share this message to families and friends and co-workers. Share this. Let this message go around the world how good Jesus is yes. and how he's been to you. Easter Sunday, we celebrate and we thank him for giving us life. We thank him for not allowing us to walk in darkness. Yes. 
for those of you who I called out earlier, I love you. See, somebody has accepted Jesus but still doesn't have that relationship. You're not following him. I love you. But are you following him? Are you giving up your cross? Are you denying yourself daily? And are you following him? I, none of us are perfect. Don't get it twisted, including me. But are you following Jesus? And then there's that person who's never accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. You've never said the prayer of salvation. You, you don't know who Jesus is. You know he exists, but you've never said. The Bible is clear. He says, until you confess out of your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died and was rose from the grave, then you are saved. There's a special opportunity for you, my friend. Because for you, my friend, there's a fourth C. <laughs> and that fourth C is carriage. You're going to have to step out. You're going to have to have the courage to step out. You're going to have to be courageous enough to say, no matter what my friends are doing, no matter what the world is telling me to do, no matter who's throwing stuff at me, I am a lover and a follower of Jesus Christ. I have answered the call. I have answered the call. I'm willing to pay the cost, and the cost, the cost is not that great for what I'm about to gain yes. when I get to heaven. Hallelujah. Well, Pastor, how do I commit? Commit to him. Commit to your local church. Commit to study and commit to prayer. Commit to giving him everything that you can possibly give him. And then I want you to have something called faith. Because it's faith that we're going to have to step out and want to do in this middle of this pandemic that God is going to work this thing out. You have the opportunity today to make Jesus your best friend. What a wonderful day it is to give your life to Christ on Resurrection Sunday. I'm so grateful and so excited that we have the chance to still broadcast and have service today. I know, I know, I know it's been hard. I know the world has been tripping and, and all that we see is hard stuff. But listen, listen, beloved, there's a call on your life. Yes. And there's a cost that we're all going to have to pay. And then there's a commitment. There's a commitment that we all have to commit to, to following with the land, the, the rules of the land and the laws and the CDC. But also there's a commitment to follow Christ because we are the courageous followers of Christ. And we are here to say that we are not going to walk in fear. Yes. We're not going Hallelujah. to walk in doubt. Hallelujah. We're not going to walk in discouragement. We're just following Jesus and doing the best we can. Yes. So I want to do this right now. I know we're not in a normal setting, and but I want you to just take about 10 seconds, and I want you to ask yourself this question. Am I following Jesus, or am I just faking it till I make it? I, I didn't ask, were you perfect, because we already know the answer to that. It started with me. But are we following Jesus? Am I saved? Am I really saved? I know God. My grandma know God. My mama know God. And listen, I, I, I understand that. But let me tell you, God don't have no grandchildren. He only has children. Amen. Amen. Do you have a relationship with Jesus Christ yourself? At the bottom of your screen right there, you can text to connect with us. You can text for salvation today. You can text to join us at the bottom of your screen, 571-926-3185. I promise you our, our prayer partners are there and ready to receive your call or your text. Just text your name. Just text your name and let us know that, Pastor, today I, I felt what you were saying, man. It's time for me to get right because we live in a world right now. We don't know what's going to happen today or tomorrow. Right, amen. But one thing that we do know, 
Jesus is still in control. Jesus is still in control. Come on. Come on, somebody give it up for Jesus. Come on, somebody give it up for Jesus. sharing this message. I hope the watch parties is overflowing. I hope you're sharing. Because Jesus is the answer. Yes. Will you follow him? Yes. Will you follow him? Come on, let's give Jesus a hand. Come on, here's an opportunity. Maybe some of you had missed the opportunity to give to this church. LOL, you know what to do. We believe in a giving church. It's because of your giving, your tithes, and your offering. This week, we were able to bless 40, I think, families with groceries and, and, and eggs and all that. And this week, I was gonna, I was trying to keep it to myself, but I don't know if I can help myself. This week, I'm going to be blessing some nurses with some pizza. Amen. Down at the Amen. local hospital. Amen. Blessings, there's so much stuff that your church is doing, but we can only do this because of what you are giving back to God, what you're returning Jesus. back to Him. Yes. So if you didn't get a chance to give, there's three ways you can give to this church. It's right at the bottom of your screen. If you want to go ahead and give, if you didn't get a chance to give, if you're a member of some other church, please give to your church and support that church. But if this message bless you, would you consider giving to us? Amen. 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 One more announcement. I want to give you the announcements before we log off. Was church good today? Listen, tonight at 6 p.m., uh, First Lady just told me about this. I know we was talking about it, but she said, hey, we're going to do it tonight. I guess the executive pastor overruled me tonight. <laughs> but here's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do communion at 6 p.m. tonight. It's going to be on yes. Facebook. Right. Listen, Pastor, somebody said, we don't got no juice. You got some water, you got some bread, and you got some crackers. <laughs> you can stock it up. All you need is to get something. We're going to pray up, and we're going to do Holy Communion All tonight. Right. That's going to be at 6 p.m. Those of you who are watching, make sure you invite somebody to partake in communion with us tonight. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give Jesus a night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, God. I'll see you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you so much. Happy Easter.